I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Warren and Erica Campbell give tips on how to sustain a long-lasting marriage. Listen, I want to talk to those who are newly fallen in love. Like you've only been in love like a year. So it's great. It's amazing. You still feel the endorphins. Everything is cute. Nothing gets on your nerves. It's all amazing. I want to talk to y'all. Because y'all start out so good. And everybody's so happy for you. And you're in love and it's great. And then it gets difficult and you get quiet and you don't lean to your other married couples. Let me tell you something. That's something that is an enemy to relationships and that is today's culture. Listen, today's culture has has you thinking relationships is all about self. I mean, it's really all about learning to speak the language and live the language of marriage. I'm just telling the truth. You get married and you still have a single mindset. And that's just natural because that's what you've had mostly. So it takes some time to develop a marriage mindset. I don't care. I don't care how much you've looked at pictures. I don't care how much you've, um, you know, went to all the, the conferences and read all the books and watched all the movies. When you get married for real and it gets real and you feel like saying it's for the birds. That's when you really need to learn to speak the language of marriage. What is the language of marriage? The language of marriage is thinking about the other person. It's thinking about the commitment that you made before God. It is putting your hurt feelings to the side and not allowing your hurt feelings to cause you to renege on your promise that you made at the altar. To do us part for better or for worse. All those things that come with it. I believe that um, love is something you grow into, that it, it helps you evolve. It gives you the opportunity to be more like Jesus, to be patient, to be kind, forgiving and understanding, to have long suffering. I think that marriage gives you that chance. And I just seen some really beautiful couples and I don't know why I get so sad when people break up, but I do. I do. I'm like, dang, did they have some friends? Who was praying for them? Who's talking to them? I'm sure they have friends, but sometimes when people start, look, look who's joining me. Hi. Who are you talking to? To just 654 of my closest friends. Um, when people, <laughs> when people get to the difficult part, that's when they get quiet. I'm, I'm not that way. When it gets difficult for me, I'm definitely sending text messages to all my prayer warriors. i am like, hey, y'all, it's tough today. Y'all pray for me. Tell me something. Because I'm frustrated. And I don't want. I don't want to see beautiful relationships. That have great potential. Um, fall apart. Just because they don't have the right people around them. Or they get embarrassed. Especially if your your dating life. And your, your wedding was big. And then it start. Going to hell in a handbasket. And you feel like this is for the birds. Mm, don't throw it away. Don't give up. All right, stick with it. Right, babe? Mm-hmm. I should stick with it. Stick on with it. Stay in there, hang in there. <laughs> Why and you sound so old? Hang on in there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's tough sometimes. But it's I, worth it. It's, it's, it's not easy, but it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> I'm at the Met Gala? No, I'm at the Home Gala. The what gala? Somebody says you're not at the Met Gala? No. The Met Gala in New York? Yeah, I guess that's happening right now. Why? Why? Why would we be at the Met Gala? For yeah, what? Well, what am I going for? For what? For why? They got they got a uh, they got praise and worship at the Met Gala. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who 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 does the Met Gala serve? I don't know. My God, is the Holy Ghost there? Don't invite me. <laughs> so churchy. This, this show starts an hour. I'm gonna change to go over there. You leaving me? I'm not leaving you. I'm Don't leaving leave the me, house. Babe. Don't leave me. But I'll be back. You promise? I promise I'll be right back. As soon as the the last ha <laughs> ha last laugh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, hold it together. So you keep it. Don't 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 give up on love. Don't give up on the relationship. 
this is probably foreign for some people, but for somebody on here, you were thinking about giving up today. And so this message is for you. Hold on. Pray about it. Talk to some people around you. Um, a lot of people go through the same things in marriage. And I'm sure in your mind, this is rare. And he's changed and she's changed. And she's a totally different person. No, she's never been married to you before. He's never been married to you before. Sometimes you're married for the first time. But sometimes you are actually trying to figure this thing out. So I would say be patient and pray. Hey, did y'all see Tim Shropshire on here? Uh, Tim, are we going to eat some chicken wings when you come to the church? We have to. Listen, y'all want a good date night? May 10th, be a Cali worship comedy night. We raising money for education. All right. We got some amazing people. Lil Rail's going to host. Uh, Anthony Davis going to be there. And so other folks. So make sure you, if you're in LA, you can come to Cali worship and come to our comedy special date night. Make it a date night. Why not? I love y'all. Yes, that I saw. I saw Cat Williams mention Zaya nationwide. Yes, I saw that. Hey, I see y'all on here. Praise the Lord, saints. God bless you. First giving honor to God who's ahead of my life. Mm -hmm. I think I should witness to him, huh? Because I don't know who he served. I'm going to show you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I know he don't serve Jesus with that orange dress on. Who he served? Should I go down there and tell him about Jesus? Do you know Jesus? I could witness in my neighborhood if I want to. I love y'all. Okay, I'm just fooling. Listen, I need y'all to subscribe to loveerica.com. I have way more conversations like this. Um, even more in-depth on loveerica.com. Are any of y'all on here subscribing to loveerica.com? I hope you are. Thank you. Thank you on the beautiful view. Um... But yeah, are you guys subscribing? Tell me, let me know. Do you guys subscribe to loveerica.com? Um, I share a lot of wisdom, a lot that I've learned in life, a lot that I've gone through. People are always asking me, um, you know, how do you do it? How do you manage it? And you actually still kind of like people. I do. Um, and I share a lot of how I got here to feeling comfortable being me, to not allowing myself to be overwhelmed. Not that I never get overwhelmed because I do. I don't want to give you that impression but i know what to do when i'm overwhelmed i know how to process people always ask um hey i see you you subscribed thank you thank you yes love erica.com thank you leslie south hall absolutely yes but i share um a lot of information it's not is it easy absolutely not it it's it's test by test trial by trial moment by moment year by year um and then every situation you realize, oh, God brought me through that. Oh, that situation didn't kill me. So the next time a test or a trial comes, I don't have to lose my mind because I'm aware that God brought me through that time and that time and that time. And he did this, this, this. So I don't have to fall apart. Um, and it takes being transformed by renewing your mind and all those things. Listen, those things, same, those same things apply in marriage, choosing to stand by your commitments, choosing to believe that God is able. Um, sometimes it's easier to said than done. Yes. Who is it? Che times two. I don't know how to ask, answer if I'm in L.A. Because I don't want nobody knocking on my door. I love you, though. Um, all right. Yes. Yes, you guys ha are subscribing to loveerica.com. I love that. I love it. One question. Is pecan. You just want somebody to talk about. I say pecan, pray lane. I don't say pecan. I say pecan. I think pecan is for people from the South. Thank you. You saw me on Love You More. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. He will get you through it again. He sure will, Joyce. You have to remind yourself that. Absolutely. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. You still watch the Mary Mary show? Lord have mercy. Look, yeah, Eaglewood comes out every now and again. I can't help it. West Side. I'm going to be on the West Side of Heaven. I believe that in my heart. I do. Hi, Blanche. I love you. You're my favorite alto. Can I invite you to Ghana? Absolutely. I would love to come to Ghana. You have a beautiful soul. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, one hallelujah. Yay. Every nation, every tongue. Hallelujah. 
I was missing the tour folks today. The tour was really, really great. I missed you in Dallas. You did. That means you have to see me somewhere else. I'm, I'm taking a deep breath though. I don't have any concerts coming up soon. I am, however, singing with Tina on Friday. We have to sing in Connecticut. Mary, Mary, y'all. I know y'all love the Marys. Marriages have become compromised with worldly expectations. You talking right. That's why I was saying earlier, if you are married, the, the number one marriage is cultural ideas. And today's, you know, cultural um, acceptances and stuff like that. Like God's way gets God's results. That's all I know. I know it for sure. You know, anytime I've tried it, my way, self-preservation, protecting myself, giving people a list, an unrealistic, unloving, uncaring list to protect myself from the person I have committed my life to. It's just kind of backwards. You have to keep God in the center. Um, and I understand, listen, even Christian marriages break up. Absolutely. Um, but I believe God is able. If he can heal cancer, he can heal a marriage. And I've seen him heal cancer. And I've seen him heal a marriage, multiple marriages, many, many times without the residual and the pain and the scars of what even they went through. I've seen God do it. I've seen God bless relationships with um, the other side of the family. I've seen God do amazing things. So nothing is impossible. So if you're on here and you were just thinking about giving up, don't give up. Hold on. Hold on to love and legacy and ministry and life. I remember when I got married, my uncle kept, who was marrying us, who went on to be with the Lord. Kept saying, Lord, bless this ministry. And me and Warren kind of opened one eye and look at each other like, ministry? Bless this ministry. And after being married 23 years, absolutely, marriage is absolutely a ministry. It absolutely is. You shine for God in a different kind of way. You build legacy. Um, you build so much together. He told us to be fruitful and multiply, right? You can't multiply by yourself. Be fruitful and multiply. So I believe that God blesses marriages in a special way. Not that he doesn't bless single people. That's not what I'm implying at all. But if you are married, married, I want you to know that you didn't just get married because you felt like getting married. God allowed you to come together. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Y'all know y'all ain't allowed around here. I don't like those blackbirds. I literally, literally, literally rebuke them and tell them y'all got to go. And they leave like they just did. Anywho, we are coming to the end of our time, good people. I love you so much. Thank y'all for hanging out with me for a minute. Um, I pray that God rests in the middle of your soul tonight and gives you good rest. I pray that you're not overwhelmed or stressed. I pray that you have the answers that you need. I pray that you feel the joy of the Lord. I pray that you live with a level of expe expectation, not going to bed, taking a deep breath and waking up with a deep breath like you're over it already. I pray that you wake up and you appreciate the brand new mercy that we get every day. All right. I love y'all and I mean it. It's late for the sun is still out for me. The sun hasn't gone down just yet, but I know it's late for some of y'all. So I love you. Have a great evening. I love you and I mean it. Um, be blessed. And let's talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.